Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another beginner-friendly song tutorial. In today's session, I'm breaking down another Tom Petty classic in his 1991 hit song, Learning to Fly. So for the beginners, we're gonna get started learning a basic four chord progression that's played throughout the entire song and also some very easy strumming techniques. Then for the more advanced players, we're gonna get into Mike Campbell's iconic slide guitar solo. You can follow along using my tablature and my chord sheet at patreon.com slash lessons. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now let's get started with a full demonstration of the song. As usual, I want you to see what you can figure out just using your ear, then you can jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, and... Started out down a dirty road. Started out all alone, and the sun went down as I crossed that hill. And the town lit up And the world got still I'm learning to fly But I ain't got wings And coming down Is the hardest thing Where the good old days may not return And the rocks may melt And the sea may burn I'm learning to fly But I ain't got wings Coming down is the hardest thing. Some say life will beat you down and break your heart and steal your crown. So I started out for God knows where. Guess I'll know when I get there. I'm learning to fly around the clouds. But what goes up must come down. But I ain't got wings And coming down Is the hardest thing I'm learning to fly Around the clouds And what goes up Must come down Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started learning how to play the rhythm guitar techniques that we're going to be applying to the intro, 
verse, and chorus sections. We're in standard tuning, the key of C major. Real slow, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and three. Okay, so very simple, just four chords all the way throughout. We have the F, going to C, to an A minor, go into G. All right. So for the beginners, let's learn each of those shapes just to get started. The F major chord, which is technically an F slash C, third fret of the A string, third fret D, second fret G, first fret of the B string. Okay. Now you could also include the open high E string, which would make it an F major seven. It's not what I hear in the original track, but it is a safe note to play. All right, from there we have the C major chord. It's an easy jump. We have the third fret of the A string, second fret D, open G, and the first fret B string, and the open high E string for a C major chord. All right, from there we're just swinging the ring finger underneath of the middle finger, second fret of the G string, to produce an A minor chord. And then finally, the last chord you need to know, a standard G major chord shape. Third fret, low E, second fret of the A string, open D, open G, open B, and the pinky on the third fret of the high E string. Strumming E to E. Okay, so there you have it, four chords for this song. F major, C major, a minor, and G major. Okay, now let's put them all together with this very simple rhythm, just basic eighth note strums uh, for each chord. Okay, again, measure one sounds like this. Okay, so I'm switching chords on the upbeat from the F to the C. Okay, so F major, down, up, down, then to the C major chord, up, down, up, down, up. Now notice, at the very end of the measure, that last upstroke, I have some open strings there, indicating that it's time to move to the A minor chord and start measure number two. Okay, so you put that together. One and two and three and four and... All right, now that gets you to measure two, where we're gonna play the exact same rhythm, again, switching chords on the upbeat. One and two and... throwing in a little melody line by placing our index finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay, so we went from the A minor chord, one and two, and then switch to the G chord, and three and four and. Okay, so we're putting the index finger down on the upbeats there. Right, you put those two measures together, and we have F to C, A minor to G. One more time, real slow. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, if you can do that, then you're basically ready to perform this as a rhythm guitar player. There's just one other little rhythm thing that we need to learn. Okay, great work, everybody. You can play the main rhythm for the song. Now we're gonna jump into learning how to play the lead line for the intro section. Very cool little part that sounds like this. One, two, three, four, and. Okay, let's break that up into two parts, the first of which sounds like this. Okay, so that was a pull off on the G string, second fret, going to the open string. All right, then we're on to the first fret B string, and back to the open G. From there, you're just gonna alternate back and forth between the B string and the G string. One, oh, one. Okay, you put that measure together, and we have.
Okay, now onto the second measure. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was the B string first fret, open G string, and then you're gonna play one zero on the B string. All right, from there, it's just back and forth between one and zero. Put that measure together and we have. All right, you put the two measures together and we have this full melody, very cool. One more time. Okay, that's gonna lay over top of the main rhythm. Okay, if you can play that, then you're ready to move on to the breakdown section. Okay, great work everybody. You have the main rhythm and you also have the intro riff down. Now we're jumping into the breakdown section. If you're coming out of the chorus and you're jumping into either the guitar solo or this breakdown, you're gonna notice that the G chord gets extended in those sections. So if we're coming out of, in this case, chorus number three going into the breakdown, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. But what goes up must come down A minor. One, two, and three, and four, and one. So an extra two measures of G major, and then from there, the breakdown. So very, very simple, going from the F to the C chord, down, up, down, up, down, switch to the C, down, down. A little bit of space there where I like to throw in a golpe or a tap of the guitar. Then you just do the same thing from the A minor to the G. Repeat that twice. very dynamic section. Okay, if you can do that, then you're ready to bust out the slide. We're gonna learn how to play Mike Campbell's guitar solo. Okay, a close look at this 93 Gibson Les Paul. Getting started with the guitar solo, it's gonna sound like this really, really slow. Okay, getting started with line one of our tab, licks one and two. We'll begin by learning each lick with our index finger, and then we'll apply the slide. Okay, so I'm getting started with this first lick, sounds like this. A little slide away there. I'm picturing the C major pentatonic scale, which is right here. And also this little C major chord triad, like a bar chord shape, up an octave. Okay, so we slid up to the 17th fret of the D string, and then played 17 on the G, and then twice on the uh, B string. Heavy vibrato, and then the slide away. Put that together, and we have. Applying the slide to that, I wanna put my fingers in this kind of pyramid, configuration. I'm going to put my pinky against the side of the slide for stability, and I'm going to keep my index finger flat across the strings, so that way I have the ability to do a little bit of mute in. If you want a full uh, kind of technique lesson on the slide, you can click this card right up here in the top corner. Okay, so applying the slide, it should sound like this, real slow. Okay, the next lick is going to be very, very similar. We're going to the eighth fret of the B string. Then to the high E string twice. Okay, so the same exact rhythm as the first lick. Eight, 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 eight. Again, heavy vibrato and a slide away. Okay, that gets us to line two of the tab. This next lick is gonna sound like this. the slide, 
Very cool kind of country lick. Again, using the major pentatonic scale. Primarily. We're on the eighth fret of the B string. We're going eight, six, eight. Then to the high E string, eighth fret. Eight down to six on the B. And then this cool little country vibe. Slide in on the B string, five down to four. Really short before. Vibrato in on the fifth fret of the G string. Okay, you put all that together and we have. All right, it's gonna sound much better with the slide. Okay, now the next lick is gonna be very simple. We're just going up to the 10th frets of the A string and the D string. All right, sliding up in. Striking the strings three times and then sliding away. Now, I like to use my pick and my middle finger to grab those two strings together. It allows me to target those notes a little bit more cleanly. All right, then we're on to the final line of music. Okay, that's very simple. We're just going on to the A string, fifth fret, sliding up to six, back down to five, and then sliding down to three. Okay. You put those two licks together and we have. All right, that last part's a little challenging there. From there, you're just gonna close up shop. I like to use my finger for this part. All right, three sliding up to five, back down to three, nice and slow. If you wanna use the slide there, you can. Okay, you put that entire solo together now and we have one, two, three, four, and one and two and three. Four, one, two, three, four, and All right, lick number three. All right, notice I'm grabbing the B string there. That stops the B string from rattling. All right, then. All right, congratulations, everybody. You have the main rhythm, you have the intro lead line, you have the breakdown section, and now you can play this really cool slide guitar solo. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this Tom Petty song tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.